If we were standing around the LGBTQ plus water cooler, this might be what we're all talking about. It's sponsored by Hot Topic. Hot Topic is an American retail chain with nearly 700 locations specializing in counterculture related clothing and accessories, as well as licensed music. Hot, Topics, uh, Hot Topic represents many varied interests of the LGBTQ plus community, including music, movies, graphic artists, gaming, and more. Hot Topic features one of the largest collections of pride merchandise that celebrates all aspects of the LGBTQ plus community. Hot Topic is also a major supporter of diversity of our community and supports many events, festivals, and nonprofit LGBTQ organizations. And very notable is their support of the Trevor Project, the LGBTQ plus community's most important voice for LGBTQ plus young people. And that's why they are sponsor of It's Happening Out's Hot Topic. Well, here we go. In 1545, welcome to class, everyone. Ooh, <laughs> the in, doctor is in. That's right. <laughs> in, exactly. In 1545, writer Will Turner was the first to coin a phrase, birds of a feather flock together. It was based on his observations of starlings. They seem to move in unison in large flocks. But when other birds would approach, they would fly or move away. Birds of a feather flock together. 400 years later, psychologist Robert Francis Winch studied spouses in the 1950s and came to the conclusion that it wasn't similarities that made a relationship work. Rather, it was all of their differences. Well, a major new study is in, and it dramatically affects how we think about the LGBTQ plus community. After all, lesbians are different than gay men. Bisexuals have attraction to both. The trans community argues it's not even about sex, but rather gender. And don't even get me started on queer. Important to note, some have observed the difficulty inside of our community and the difficulty outside of our community. Uh, and that we were pushed together in an artificial one neat package acronym, LGBTQ+. So the study has consequences on us. What were the findings? Overwhelmingly, we want what is referred to as sameness race the same, economic standing the same, education the same, work as a relationship in the fields we work in the same. The conclusion of the study, more than 80% of us want the same as us. However, us would be defined. So our hot topic this week is birds of a feather flock together even in the LGBTQ plus community. Our hot topic of the week is this concept that we all want the same thing. What do y'all think? Um, <laughs> sort of, yeah. I think uh, when we're talking about our neighborhoods, we want it all to be, feel the same, look the same. I think like- White. Yeah, right? Like-minded people Latino, do like-minded things. Cuban, American. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it, just look at Miami. Miami is probably one of the more segregated cities in the United States, but you would consider us a melting pot and people think, oh, you know, there's so much culture and diversity and it's sure, but we all live in our own neighborhoods. We have fences that are as thick as concrete blocks. Yeah, like we that. all don't have brickle money. <laughs> <laughs> we have little Haiti. Mm -hmm. We have Little Havana. Like we have Alapada. We have, yeah. yeah. We, have we have the Jewish community out on the beach. In North Miami Beach. Like, mm -hmm. it's it's so segregated that it's it's madness. And and you want to say that you are inclusive. You want to say that you value the diversity. But the fact of the matter is you want to be with like-minded people. What do you all think? No, it's true. Especially in the gay community where people are, you know, designated certain groups. Bears otters, twinks, twunks, Latin, black, Asian, you have all these separate parts and they all click together. But then there's the people that don't want that people who want to be able to embrace that, but then get separated from that. Because you know, I want to be able to be a part of a, you know, with more people to gain more experience, share my knowledge, have them share their knowledge with me, but then getting excluded because I'm not 
muscular, skinny, hairless, you know, masculine enough, feminine enough. And it's something that's real. It's true. I'm, no, yeah. I, you know, no, I'm a big green yeah, no, no, Superbia! <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's a weird concept that, you know, of course, I want to be able to live with multiple people. I don't want an all-white neighborhood. Are you kidding me? The burgers are not seasoned. The hot dogs are just boiled. I want that seasoned <laughs> rub pork. Are you kidding me? Yeah, same. But it's... Yeah. So I often ask myself, what, A, would I, would I want to date, would I want to be with someone like me? And so some aspects, yes, and so, oh, yes. Wait, and, you were, and you were going to say, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to live, sit beside let alone live with <laughs> it. No, man, yeah. But at the end of the day, I do agree with you. It's, it's comfort levels that come with being with someone who like-minded, look like you. I can, we can share the same experiences. I can feel some kind of safe. Um, and, and so it's those, those that 80%, I think, that feel that, that drive that number, because it's just easy, it's more comfortable. I don't have to learn. I don't have to come out my comfort zone. But what the work I don't is, have to be challenged. I don't have to grow. I don't have to be I don't questioned. Have to I don't have to grow. I don't yeah. have to evolve. And, and so yeah. we have. And so we. So we have to now begin to to look at what has that done to us as a society. Yeah. And, and I think that is why we are at the, the rate that we are now, and the problems that we are now is because we have been forced to either to build those walls, to build those red lines, to build those tracks, to keep us separate because yeah. it was all intentional. And, and so we've been ingrained in that, that you have to stay with your like and mind. You yeah, but let me, let me exactly. give you a weird example, right? Chris is British, obviously, uh, and I'm Cuban, right? My, my father grew up in a very- In the best ways? The best ways. <laughs> my father grew up in a very Afro-Cuban environment, right? We, if we're at home, we'll bring out the bongos and we'll start slapping oh, awesome. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris could not manage. Chris was sitting in my backyard. We're all speaking Spanish, and, you know, Spanglish hitting the bongos, and he had to just get up and walk away. And I'm like, where did Chris go? I went out to the front, he's by the car. And I was like, hey, babe, what are you doing? He was like, that, that was a lot. <laughs> I needed a fucking break <laughs> mm -hmm. from you guys. And I got so pissed. I didn't tell him that. Internally, I was like, what, bitch? Like, we're not good enough? Like, this is too much for you? Like, this is too eccentric? Did you flip your hair? I did. I was like, oh, <laughs> did he think it was? Fuck. Did he think it was like some brujeria shit or something? I, like, what did he yeah, think? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So, My dad's was Santero, so you never know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, from an outside perspective of being in a situation like that, you know, it's like, oh, I'm not really having the opportunity to, you know, associate myself with this. I don't have the experiences. I don't have the relations that they have. I don't have the language yeah. to partake right. in it. Yeah. It's overwhelming. Right. It's a lot. I don't know how to handle it remove myself from the situation. I need a break. Right. I need a yeah. breath. And that's what everyone else does in the, in those in different communities, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you're not if you're not Jewish, you don't understand some of the kind of the the holidays the, and right. stuff like that. The yeah. holidays, so you the tend to just it. kind of remove yourself. And so like that's why I say like minded people do like minded so things. So your mm -hmm. situation with Chris was uh cultural. Uh, we've talked about race. But, but yeah. let's reduce it a step lower. Um the the question is we have artificially put together an acronym that doesn't work. The the because we I were never asked these, to be put together. We uh, okay, and Fair. and so LGBTQ doesn't work. The trans community doesn't think of themselves as a um, a sexual act. They're a gender. Um, women's interests are different than gay men's interest. Bisexual interest in in however they define, which by the way is more than half of the LGBTQ community can be with men and with women, but all of them together are not a natural, um, a not a natural mix. It's not like a cereal well, bowl with five different grains that all go well together with your milk mm -hmm. because we, we 80% of us say, no, I don't want that. I think or that we all are part of many different categories, right? You're black, you're also gay, you're all <laughs> He's pansexual. You're, pansexual. Oh, pan. Sorry, pansexual. I know you're I also black, into right? leather. <laughs> you're also, black. you know, and so it depends on what you identify. But regardless of what, how other people identify you, mm -hmm. what you identify as yourself is what you're going to want to be around. So for me, it's an interesting thing because I see what you guys are all talking about, you know, and I, I, I see why other people are doing it. But for me personally, like I don't identify as much with the gay community i have never i never have there are a lot of things Why? that i do um it's just when i go out or what i see like i feel like are what they're interested in what i'm interested in are different things i definitely see myself much more as a musician and as an artist and that tribe of people is like what well, i feel like i'm home when that, i'm there and there's many gays in there only, true, that's true. only saying that that tribe broadly trumps another tribe that you also have a, a 
a great and cohort mm -hmm. worth, mm -hmm. and this tribe is more important as a and cohort. And so that's the tribe that I feel most comfortable, and that's what I want to be around. So I feel like whatever tribe you that's feel like flock. you are most, right. it, you know, regardless right. of, do, what, of do your we, qualities. Do we agree with the study's result? Do we go, yeah, that makes sense? Well, see, I, I think the reason that the LGBTQ started was because it, it was the, the same gender loving, and it was all sexual based. So the, the gays are going to love the gays. They, the lesbians are going to love their lesbians. And, and, and as, to your point, they thought that our trans siblings only love or had inter, in, intimate with each other, not realizing that trans women were women, trans men were men, and they could date men and or they could date women. Mm -hmm. And so because they had nothing else to do with us, they had no idea how to do with us, they all lumped us together and said it's all about sex. And again, miseducation. And to your point, I think I don't, that's a good, I think the 80% is only because we've been indoctrinated that it's all about sex. And it, it became, and, and there it is. And it became, that's it came, became confusing. And that's the way the pushback comes in by pansexual. What do you mean? You, you can love them and you can, oh, I can, at eight o'clock this morning, I can sleep with Faye. And at, at five o'clock, well, you're engaged now. <laughs> I might, I might, I might let, I might let Trini, you know, I mean, but, but you know, but again, they, they don't know how to deal with that. And, and they don't, and that's where it all, it blows a, a firecracker. And, and look at the all. vocabulary. Transsexual used to be the term. Now we're actually using gender yep. and that's the point of it in the end. And that's kind of where they kind of want to like, Hey, it's not a sexual act. It's more of just like, you know, the well, gender. because even that's what you're taught. Right. And that's what they thought as well is because they were attracted to the same sex. But what was happening was they were fluid in their in their what they uh, um um associate or not associated exp yeah express and there's three ways that you can express yourself and how you feel and how you show and who you really are and so that's very confusing we didn't know that we th they thought they were just gay and they weren't gay they were actually they were actually trans mm -hmm. and so we were all fighting the same fight so they grouped us together and like i think europe has an acronym uh, soji s-o-g-i right like sexual orientation, gender identity. So we're fighting the same fight, but it's just there's no specific labels to exclude us from that same fight. Yeah. And I think that that's where we're getting it confused. Like we don't have to be the same people. We don't have to love the same things, but we're still fighting the same fight. You know, I have, I have, I've read a number of interesting um, editorial um, op-ed related opinions that said, you know, we went through a process of uh, Stonewall and, and through the 70s in terms of creating identity and pushback. Then we went through a period of time that AIDS redefined us uh, that ultimately led to ACT UP and, and mm. really on the verge of violent uh, kind of uh, activism. And then in the 2000s, we began to integrate our community more deeply in our politics and uh, you know, by um, by the classification of marginalized communities, most marginalized communities would turn and say the the community, the marginalized community that has done the best in the last 30 years is the LGBTQ community. Um, and, and, you know, they would say, wow, the progress that they've made and that took place. And then Obama, then the, the Supreme Court decision. But the point now is for this next decade of the 2020s, is LGBT going to be given this idea that we don't naturally um, congregate together, except in this mm -hmm. one area that LGBTQ is really not going to be what the future is? I just have a question on the, the clarification of this. So you are saying that uh, and, uh, trans people in general are you saying there's a movement where they they don't want to be included? Well, with first, this? or first, I don't uh, feel that. When first, I'm there's a lot of trans people that say would immediately go, "Wait, you're you're I'm not saying that this is right or wrong. I'm just I'm just yeah. uh, poning up the observation that we're not a sexual orientation. Right. We are a gender identity. Mm -hmm. So we're completely different than Faye mm -hmm. and completely different from Jonathan. Instantaneously, there are many. Uh, gay men, and there are a very significant uh, number of women that say trans is not even part of our community. Their rejection below the surface is you are the problems that we're having mm. because you're not our gender uh, sexual orientation. You're an identity. Well, I just and never the, saw that. And the laws and, yeah, yeah. and blah, blah, blah. But, but and trans, We're not getting into trans that. Trans do have, from my experience and, 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 and from my friends, they Trans do feel like the leftovers. They yeah. feel like mm -hmm. they're not being fought for when they were fighting our fight. We from the were beginning. fighting them. From the beginning. From the beginning. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. But yeah. Do you think that's for sure. true, though? That they feel that way for sure. No, no, no. no, 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 no. That they, for sure. But do you think, you don't think that, that gay people are 
fighting that trans. I on could that give you a right list now. tonight. No, many. I have. Names. I have interviewed women, women that I look up to or looked up to before certain interviews that have told me that trans women are not women. Yeah. When yeah, I have really said to them, more trans more. women are women. Period. Dot. Done. Done. And they're yeah, like, no, down. they're not allowed in certain. I mean, and and. And yes. they're treated as such. I, I've, I've been in many tables, flipped many tables because I've heard that same thing. And or women should not be, just women in general should not be involved at the table. And then you can have a whole nother heart, heart conversation where our trans siblings should not be there. They, they're not women. Yeah. They're not yeah. men. Okay. Um, so we get to this point. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard multiple <laughs> stories of going, oh, well, the observation you're posing, I can give you examples of that. Mm -hmm. That's what, what I just heard. So my, we're not going to solve that problem tonight. No, we're not. And, no. and, and, and trans is a vibrant and loved portion of our community, period. Hush that. But yeah. um, uh, the issue broadly is, does this study put in front of us that the acronym just is not going to work? In the next 10 years, it's not going to work because gay men identify in a way differently and, and there's empathy, let's say, for women and vice versa for lesbians, for gay men, uh, et cetera. But, but ultimately, we like what we like, and so therefore we support like what we want. I absolutely and that's why we separate. Hate the I absolutely hate the acronym, I hate too. Them. Like, why you have to say, every time you're talking about the queer community or whatever, you have to say LGBTQ. You don't like, have to. You could just say gay. But, that, but, but, I mean, but, I mean, and, and, but that's the and, thing. And, and that's a lot why. of people that's don't. Why. Exactly. That's why. Because I don't identify as queer, right? I'm gay. But we already we generalize. We say everyone's queer, right? Lesbians identify as gay. But they're lesbians, so mm -hmm. now they have two letters of the alphabet. The allies and straight people are like, what is all this alphabetical stuff? I don't understand it. We change it one more time and we're clowns. Yeah. And we know, and, and we have. We've added to spirited. If you go to another yes, country, their understand. acronym is yes. different. And, so and, and understand that. Two spirit has always been there. Let me, it's never, I've never identified no. or recognized. Let me, let me put right. in uh, um, an observation to John and, and, and challenge you on it. <laughs> um, uh, we can't use the word gay. And the reason why we can't use the word gay is there would be a, uh, like um, I just did the right observation <laughs> from, right. from trans yeah. community, we're not, uh, we're, we don't get support and stand up because we're not uh, a sexual orientation, we're a gender identity. We can't use the word gay for a very significant number of women. Faye says instantly, of course you can use gay, mm -hmm. but she is not this radical point of view that goes, Gay means male. Yeah. Right. And if you use the word gay, you're excluding me. Right. I, 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 uh, I, we write, we do shows. We have to say LGBTQ plus. Mm. We must because I can't say gay. I just can't yeah. right. because I'm excluding, excluding X right. and Y and Z if that's I fair. do that. Can that's we fair. have one word that's just alternative? Like uh, it's not straight. The attempt is queer. And but that's, then there's the rejection of from wait. some and mainly men that yeah. would reject queer yeah, because, because I'm a queer woman. Because I didn't, I didn't fight for that word. Wait, wait, wait y'all two reject the word queer? I, is that that? Not that I reject no. it. If you want to be, if you want to be uh, um, called the queer, I will call you a queer, right? No. But for me, when you call me a queer, those are fighting words. No, I grew up, I grew word. up that was the most offensive mm -hmm. word, and I didn't fight for that word. No, to I come get back. you on that. But if they said the queer community, you wouldn't. You feel like that's a negative. No, no, it's fine. No, it's it's negative for me. But if there is a group that I'm associated with that wants to be identified as queer, I'm not going to say. But no. it, again, it goes all the way back to how they separated us as humans: black versus white, mm -hmm. gay versus straight, mm -hmm. and you, utilizing that language. And until we can find a language that's comfortable, that to your point, yes. We're gonna outgrow it. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna fade away because we're gonna identify so many reasons. And I, and I will share with you. And we've had jokes about this, Al and I. When you, if I see something on my paper or, or, or describing who I am, mm -hmm. and the first word is black, stop. I'm a human with curly hair. There's other ways to describe me, but you have to go straight to that. Yeah. Why? Why do I have to go straight to lesbian? Faye is loud, pretty hair. <laughs> you know, you know. There's so many other things that we could use, but the problem is. Society says you had to find a way to separate them from me. And so how do I do that by coming That's up with the rocket? The study, yeah. the study says that in spades, 80% of us basically agree with that observation. Yep. I think I might have earned myself another week here. Who knows? All right. <laughs> All right. Job. We'll talk uh, about that. It's show. a very, very <laughs> complex topic. It's That's really right. Tis. 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 Not for a lot of shock. Complicated. <laughs> and and it, one thing that I, I'm, I know we can all agree on. Uh, even if we have the difficulties as we clearly come out of this conversation about LGBTQ+, you cannot defeat Ron DeSantis, oh. who is a privileged white man that knows, I'm going to divide them, mm -hmm. I'm going to divide oh, them, and I'm oh, going to divide them, 
in this culture war and I'll win because of it. Mm -hmm. Outside of our community, if we can't get our inside the community um, on the right pack or right track, it's impossible in Tallahassee. And we have a presidential election in coming in two years, and this is full front in front of us. Absolutely. Me. Full front. All right. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.